Hi, it's Donna here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful rose sugared nail art design. This design is absolutely suitable for beginners, so what I'd say is give it a go. If you enjoy watching this and giving it a go, then give me a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and of course tell all of your friends about it. Have fun. Here are the items you'll need. Gel polish in your chosen colour. I've chosen red. A top coat. Top coat without a sticky layer. Um, some kind of painting gel. I've got the colour white there. You'll need a few brushes. So uh, one brush with thin bristles. A, um, a fluffy brush. <laughs> an even fatter brush. And of course a few wipes. Always come in useful. And... Some glitter, make sure you choose a fine glitter so it's not too coarse. Apply your first layer of gel polish. Here I've gone for red. Um, this design which we're making is of course a, a rose um, on a nice colourful background and of course you can choose any colour that you wish. I just thought because the festive season is coming up at uh, Christmas time that I would go for red but of course you can do your rose on pink background, a green background, any colour you like. It really doesn't matter. Um, this is nearly applied the first layer. This first layer of gel polish does actually give quite a good, co good coverage but even so, I will still apply um, two layers. Put this in your lamp to harden for the recommended time. This is out of the lamp and fully cured. Now I'm going to apply my second layer of gel polish. Make sure it's a lovely thin layer because that will, of course, give you the best results. And it also um, ensures that you won't get any bubbling going on in the lamp. You won't get any wrinkling of the product. So there we go. That's a lovely thin application and in it goes. Now it's time to put on your top coat. And as I said, make sure that you use a top coat which does not have a sticky layer. Um, the reason for this is that we want to make the rose design directly on top of the top coat. And I want to sugar the design so that you get a nice kind of 3D effect going on. You get a little bit of extra dimension to the design. So this top coat is applied and it can go in the lamp to harden for your recommended time. This is now out of the lamp. The top layer is completely dry, not at all sticky. What we need now is a very thin um, striping brush, which we can use um, to paint our design on. And also we need the paint gel. Um, just use any brand which you normally use. And what we need is to make sure that the um, the point of the brush is um, together, that the hairs aren't spreading out. So I'm just using a little bit of a cleans product to make sure that that happens. There you go. And um, what we do now is we just take a very small amount of our painting gel. All I'm doing is I'm just trying to get it right onto the end of the brush and then we're going to make the first um, shape of the rose. So I'm going to apply a very small, oh, let's go into <laughs> to shot, a very small little shape right in the middle. And then we go up to the other side. It's like a little U shape, shall we say. Um, and the next thing we do is we go back into the gel and we apply another shape to make the parts of the rose petals. And I suppose we can say this is also a U, but it's upside down. Just go around the outside very gently. And all you want to do is you want to make sure that you're closing 
around the first shape. Let's see, you see, just closing around the first um, U, shall we say. All right. Now I'm going to do another shape. Put a little bit more to the side, just like the rose petals, so how they close around one another. I'm going to go here and close around. I'm going to apply a bit more pressure here because it is nice um, as the petals move outwards that they become a bit fatter because that's just how it is when you look at a rose and again make sure that you close each layer of your petals so this is what's happening so now we can move on to the next part and what I shall do is just continue to finish this particular rose. I think that's looking kind of cute. And um, what I want to do now is just to add a couple of little petals. So we've just got a small amount of um, paint gel again. And I'm just going to add a tiny little petal down here. Just press very gently. So, and then I shall do same on the other side, just coming upwards, applying a very, very light pressure. And I think it's also nice to add another petal. Just have one coming down here. Finish that off to a little point. And there we go. What I think would be nice is to add another rose up the top somewhere. So I'm just going to do that. Right, I've just added another little um, rose. And of course, I think it's nice to add two more petals. If it's possible to do this. Because <laughs> as I'm here painting this design... I'm actually having to paint in a different position than I normally would because of my camera angle. My camera's in my way. <laughs> but hopefully in the next few weeks I will have a different camera set up. And I've also got a new camera so that should hopefully make things a little bit easier for me. But anyway I'm trying to hold everything in good view for you so that you can see what I'm doing. And again I'm just applying a lovely light touch. And I'm going to add another petal and you can do the same. Here we go. The extra petals have been added. I do always feel like I want to add more to the design. <laughs> so I'm thinking at the moment about stones and extra swirls and twirls. But I will contain myself and just keep it like this to start with. And maybe it's nice in a future um, film to add a few more Swirls and swirls and make more designs, uh, flower designs. Yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that. But anyway, what we've got now is I've got the glitter because I want to make this design a sugary design. I just need to find something to pick up the glitter. Okay, I've got an old, um, an example that I can use to make nail designs. So what I'm doing is I'm picking up a scoop of the glitter and straight into the paint gel, the wet paint gel, which has not been hardened out in the lump yet. You just apply your glitter, just sprinkle it all over. And of course, this is the reason why we needed a top coat without a sticky layer, because you don't want to end up with a big sticky glittery mess everywhere. So just make sure that it's fully applied. Give it a little bit of time to soak in to your um, to your gel paint. Once that's done, you can tap away the excess. And when you're happy that most of it's been tapped away like this, you can put this in your lamp to harden out for the recommended time. This is now out of the lamp and fully cured. And now we can use our very fat brush and we can just brush away the excess glitter so that what you're left with is just glitter on top of the 
um, gel paint. And what you can see is there's a little bit of glitter on the red, uh, on the top coat. But all you can do is just use the cleans of the product that you normally use and just wipe it away. It's as simple as that. Oops, it's all coming a bit loose here. That's it. Just wipe it away. So then you've got this lovely, lovely design. Give it a go. Let me know what you think, guys. And yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more of this kind of sugary design. <laughs> Have fun with this. Now, I hope that you enjoyed making that nail art design. If there's any sort of nail art designs that you'd love to see, then just write it in the comments. And I place two videos a week on a Wednesday and on a Saturday. So I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.